I am Katie Farrell with Dashing Dish, and at Dashing Dish, I'm all about teaching you how to create healthy alternatives to the food you crave. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a really quick and healthy 30-minute uh, meal. It's called Three Cheese Stuffed Chicken Peppers, and this is kind of a spin on maybe like a shell uh, recipe where you use shells and you stuff them. And I think we all can remember that from childhood. My mom always made stuffed shells. So really stuffed shells are not horrible for you, but I'm gonna show you a healthier way to make them today. And really the key component here to make them a little bit healthier is using red peppers instead of the pasta shells. So um, there's a lot of great options for healthier pasta these days, but one of my favorite things to do is just take out the pasta altogether and replace it with a vegetable. So here we have red bell peppers, and I just took three of them and cut them straight in half lengthwise and then removed the stem and the seed. Um, so you just cut them in half and then take all the seeds out and discard those. Then I have a cup of chicken here, and you can use rotisserie chicken. You can um, throw some chicken breast in the crock pot with a little bit of um, chicken broth and just shred up the chicken and then add it to your recipe. That's a quick way to get some shredded chicken. So I have one cup of shredded chicken that I'm gonna add to the bowl here. And you could do this with lean ground beef or ground turkey, but I like using um, shredded chicken just because it puts a different spin on this recipe. Instead of the ricotta cheese, which is high in fat and calories, I'm going to use cottage cheese. And if you don't like cottage cheese, don't let that turn you off. You won't even know what's in there. In fact, it tastes so similar to ricotta cheese in the recipe that you would never know. And oftentimes, I just don't tell my family. I don't tell my husband who eats like a picky two-year-old, hey, that's cottage cheese in the recipe. I just, you know, serve it to him and say, what do you think? And oftentimes, he loves it. So then I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese. This is a fourth cup going in. And Parmesan cheese is a great cheese to use because it adds a lot of flavor. It packs a lot of flavor with not as many calories. So fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of Greek yogurt. And this just helps add a little bit of creaminess. But you could also just do a little bit more cottage cheese. Um, I'm gonna do three tablespoons. So almost a fourth cup. And then for my seasonings, I like to add a lot of seasoning to food because it adds flavor without adding calories or fat or anything else. Um, so I'm gonna do some garlic powder and that's a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I'm gonna do one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And that's really just a blend of oregano and basil. So Italian seasoning is a great one to have on hand because it kind of combines a few different uh, seasonings in one. And then just a pinch of salt and pepper. And then I'm going to do I have a 3 fourths cup of mozzarella cheese here, and I'm gonna do almost all of it, well, I'll say about a half, into the filling, and then the rest will sprinkle on top. I'm gonna give this a quick stir, and it'll form kind of a nice creamy filling for these bell peppers. And what we're gonna do next is kind of something that's a little more traditional for a stuffed shell recipe, which is we take a baking dish, and you can see here I have it lined with foil. That's just for easy cleanup, but you could just spray a you know, nine by 13 baking dish. You don't have to add the foil. Um, and then I'm gonna take a cup of sauce, and you can use your favorite spaghetti sauce. You can use a um, pizza sauce. You can use any kind of tomato sauce. And I just put that down in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna kind of spread it out here with a spoon. And that kind of gives it the, the feel of stuffed shells when we put our peppers down in there. So I'm gonna take a pepper and I'm going to fill it with this filling. Now, if you wanted it to just be a quick and easy way to sort of measure out the filling and make sure you're evenly dividing it among the peppers, you can always use a measuring cup to fill it as well. So I just put the peppers down in there and continue on um, until they're completely filled. I'll do a few more here, just to kind of show you. And this filling is absolutely delicious. It ends up tasting really creamy, cheesy. It's a great way to have dinner on the table in less than 30 minutes, because you saw how easy that was, especially when you start with pre-cooked and shredded chicken. That cuts really your recipe time in half. So I always like to have a rotisserie chicken in the fridge just to throw into a recipe real quick. So here we have a few more. 
And then I would just finish up with the last two. Now, just to show you um, how to finish these off, I'm going to add one more cup of, again, your favorite spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce, pizza sauce, whatever you have on hand, and just kind of pour it evenly over the tops. And again, that makes it more like a stuffed shell. And then we're gonna take the rest of the cheese here and top it off. And these are so delicious. They're only 150 calories per pepper. So, and they pack a lot of protein. Um, if you have a gluten intolerance, wheat intolerance, you know, you don't even have to worry about it because there's no pasta in these. And then you bake these 375 for about 30 to 35 minutes and dinner is on the table. And you can see here's the finished product and they turn out absolutely wonderful, delicious, cheesy Italian goodness there. You can even top it with a little bit more uh, sauce if you'd like and serve it like that. If you like this recipe or more just like it, you can head over to ctvn.org.